Hi guys, welcome to Bite Size Excel. In this video, I'm going to take a very quick look at some of the keyboard shortcuts that I find most useful in Excel. I'm going to start with some of the most used editing shortcuts. So these are your copy and paste shortcuts and how to do things like insert a new worksheet. So to copy a cell, you click on the cell and use the keyboard shortcut Control and C. Then to paste this cell into a new cell, select where you want to paste it to and use the keyboard shortcut Control and V. Now this will copy and paste everything that is in your original cell into your new cell, including any formulas, formats, as well as the text and any comments. If you don't want everything in your cell to paste the new cell, you might want to use your paste special shortcut. So that is Control, Alt and V. And it will bring up your paste special box where you can select exactly what you want to copy. So if you only want to copy the values over, click OK. And your cell has copied just the values, so just the text that's in the original cell. We do that again, Control, Alt and V. If we want to say just do the formats, select your formats, click OK, and you'll see it's just copied over this green color. One thing that can make the paste special shortcut a little bit quicker to use, if you select your cell, hit Control, Alt and V, and then you'll notice that each of these options has one letter of it underlined. So if we click V, it will pop to the values one. If we hit C, it will pop to the comments one. So if you want to paste special just your values, hit V and then enter and it will do that. So doing it much quicker, Control, Alt and V, V and then enter. And your values are pasted much quicker than having to go through and click individually. If you want to cut a cell and move it somewhere else in your workbook, the shortcut is Control and X. And then paste it elsewhere with your Control and V. It will move everything that is in your original cell over, including all your formats. Another editing shortcut that I find useful is F2, which basically enters into your cell and allows you to edit it without having to either double click on the cell or click into your formula bar. You can also use the shortcut Shift and F2 if you want to add a comment onto your cell. So just undoing those last few steps. Another editing shortcut is the shortcut to insert a new worksheet, which is Shift and F11. And that will insert a new worksheet to the left of the one that you're in. So we'll just delete that again. Two final keyboard shortcuts uh, that you should be aware of are those that allow you to copy the cell either above or to the left of the one that you're in. So if you hold Control and D, it'll fill down. So it will copy exactly what's in the cell above and fill it down. And equally, Control and R copies exactly what's to the right of it. Moving on to our formatting shortcuts. Some of the easiest ones to remember are Control and B makes your text bold, Control and I makes it italic, and Control and U will underline your text. So that works for whatever cell you're on. If you select multiple cells, so Control and B, it will make everything in the cells you've selected bold. It's also useful to know how to undo with the keyboard, which is Control and Z, and obviously. Press it as many times as you need to go back a number of steps. If you go back too far and decide you actually want to redo the most recent move, the shortcut is Control and Y. So I'm doing that again with our Control and Z. Another one of the formatting shortcuts that I use most is if we select a cell, go Control and 1, it brings up your format cell box where you can not only select how you want your number formatted, but you can also change the alignment of your cell, change your font in here, put borders on your cell, change the fill style, or add protection to your cell. 
This is helpful when you want to prevent people from changing certain things in your worksheet and you want to lock it and have certain cells that can't be changed. We'll touch on it again in a later video. There are other formatting shortcuts that can be useful for some people. I don't personally use some of these, but for example, if we have 0 0.5 in a cell and we want to change it to percentage, control, shift and percentage, we'll automatically change the format. I personally find it easier to just use control and one, go to my number tab and select what I want. But some people find these other keyboard shortcuts useful. So if you'd like some more information on those kind of formatting shortcuts, uh, please do let me know in a comment. Moving on to navigating in your workbook. Um, obviously, we can navigate with the arrows. So if you've got named ranges in your workbook, I don't currently have any in this, but Control and G brings up the go to box, which can allow you if you've got multiple work tabs with say name tables on them, you can quickly flip between different sheets and find what you're looking for. There are then quick shortcuts for selecting things like an entire row. So if we click on this cell and hold shift and spacebar, it will select your entire row. And in a similar manner, control and spacebar selects your entire column. A useful way to insert a row in your workbook is the shortcut Control, Shift and Plus. And you get this insert so you can either just insert a cell or you can insert an entire row or an entire column. Equally, if we actually have selected an entire row and hold Control, Shift and Plus, it will actually just automatically insert the row and similarly control shift and plus will automatically put a column into the left. The final few shortcuts are all relating to saving your file or opening a new one. So control S saves your file. F12 brings up your save as box. Control and N will open a new workbook and Control and O will bring up your open workbook where you can see workbooks that you've been recently working in. If you want to quickly close a file, Control and F4 will close it down. It's not one personally that I use very often, but some people might find that one useful. Two final shortcuts, which I occasionally use, is where I might want to enter either the current date or the current time in a workbook. And to do this, it's control and semicolon for the current date and control, shift and colon for the current time. So there's some of the Excel shortcuts that I personally find most useful. Hopefully you've learned something new today. Please do leave me a comment. Let me know what you might like to see in future videos. And as always, please do like and subscribe. I do look forward to seeing you on the next video.